So Takashi 69 is out of prison and he's stunting. I'm gonna say it again. Takashi Snitch 9 is out of prison. Uh, ooh, excuse me. And he's stunting. If you don't got this watch right here, this watch right here, this watch, over a half a million, why we can't beef? I broke the YouTube. I'm at 5 million views in one hour. Y'all can't even get 100,000 views. Listen, listen. We can't beef. There's no beef. I'm the king. Y'all know this. Listen. You know the legendary shit that I be talking about? You know why people so mad? Because they thought it was over for me. They counted me out. Oh, yo, you... Yo, you ride it, it's over for you. Y'all could never... Y'all could never cooperate with the government and come back. Y'all could never do that. I'm a living legend at the age of 24 years old. Takashi 69 aka Master Splinter, built his career off of the negative side of black culture here in America. I mean, a young Mexican kid from New York using the N-word like he was getting paid to say it. And I don't have a problem with it, but people seem to have a problem with you saying nigga. Because they say a Mexican should not be using the word Bro, nigga. who gonna stop me? Who? Like, that's, I can see those comments all the time. Who? But the reason like, I... why can I say it? Like, I, I can say it. Like, who gonna stop me? But you made a distinction when you said two African-Americans shooting at each other. So to me, you just using the word as a slang word. No, no, look, because I can't say two niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it just makes it look like I'm talking that only black people shoot at each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we, yes, black people, us, we let it ride. So we let Takashi Snitch 9 take our culture, get rich from it, and then when it came time to do the time, he snitched and told on everybody that happened to be black. But guess what you all will do? You all will give Takashi. 6 9 a pass. You all will work with him. You all will do songs with him. You all will be friends with him. You all will hold him to a standard that you wouldn't hold any other black artist to. Look at the look at these 1.6 million. Shout out to Tory, shout out to Drake, shout out to Bad Bunny. Y'all niggas can never stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Look at this. 1.6 million. 1.6 million. We can't beef. Me and y'all not the same. I'm not promoting violence. I'm not saying anyone needs to die. I'm not saying that making someone pay for their wrongdoings is the right thing to do. I'm not saying that making an example out of someone that snitched is the right thing to do. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is, I just watched two white men lynch a young black man in the street and not one gang member, not one goon, not one thug, not one person about that life went and paid them a visit. I watched Takashi 69 get out of prison. I watched him get out of prison and stunt on black people because he's stunting on y'all. And stunt on black people and all you all are going to do is want to work with him. Everybody want to be quiet now. For two years, y'all made fun of me. Y'all done made memes of me. Y'all done threw my name in the dirt, yo rat bitch, fucking Y'all didn't go with through what I went through and I still came home and I'm a legend at the age of 24 years old because I came home and a rat is doing more numbers than you. I would be mad too. I would. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. A real nigga wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I would go home sleeping like, why is this kid doing better than me? I wouldn't be able to sleep. I don't blame you, nigga. We are like the punching bags of the world. If anybody wants to get their rocks off, they go and torment black people because they know at the end of the day, we're not going to do anything. I don't want my message to get lost in translation. All I'm saying is we hold each other way more accountable than we do 
other groups of people. I know if I snitched on some people, they're coming to get me. I know if I got in a truck and chased down a white jogger and killed him, people are coming to see about me. If I felt like I could go to a culture and just hijack it, take it, make money off of it, disrespect it, get those jammed up that helped me, never give back. If I did that, I don't see how it would be possible for you all to accept me because you wouldn't. I look at the black people that we quote unquote cancel for way less egregious offenses than what, I mean, Takashi 69 is out of prison and he's stunting. But he's not just stunting, he's stunting on black people. What black artist could go and hijack anything Mexican, make money off of it, and get away with it? What black artist could hijack the Mexican culture in America and get away with it scot-free? Who? What black artist or person could take the Mexican-American culture, hijack it, make money off of it, tell on everybody that's Mexican, get them locked up, and then get away scot-free with the money and the fame and the career? Nobody black could do it. But yet when it comes to us, look how many other races come and profit off of black people. Maybe racism and oppression has just made us weak. Maybe it's just killed our will. Maybe it's just stunted our growth. I made a video earlier about these fake ass IG activists and black leaders and socially social conscious leaders that y'all be following, right? And I just seen two of them drive past the house of the two idiots that killed the brother in Atlanta. They just drove past the house, seen the truck and everything. I just want to know, with all the rah-rah shit y'all be talking, why wasn't y'all driving past the house before he got arrested? Just want to know. Oh, y'all driving past the house in, to honor the brother, huh? Nah. Nah, I just want to be seen doing something. I guess what I'm saying is, let me get away with it like you let everyone else get away with it that's not black or us. You know them gang members y'all always be talking about? Well, maybe you can learn something for some real gang members. Ask them what they do to honor one of their fallen soldiers. Ask a real gang member, a real street dude, what he do to honor one of his homies that dropped. They don't drive past the op's house after the op's get arrested. They drive past the op's house before the op's get arrested. Weirdos, and y'all follow them. Y'all follow them. These two dudes y'all follow them. Look, oh, that was so beautiful. They went. That shit, that's weird. Drive past the fool's house after they go to jail. The fuck y'all was at before they went to jail? So, so tough, tough guy. Y'all hanging classmen on your pages and banging on the beast. And... <sighs> Y'all, <laughs> Yo, this is fake as six nine. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my fans because they don't deserve that. My, my, my family, my mother, my family don't deserve that. And I'm sorry. But y'all not going to break me down like if I did something wrong. Listen, I snitched. I ratted. But who was I supposed to be loyal to? Being a snitch is probably the worst thing you can be called in the hood. Takashi 69 is bragging about being a snitch. And he's going to be the number one rap artist. Just to make it make sense for me. No fly zones. I don't want to see another... No fly zone, threat, rant. I don't want to hear about anybody checking in to somebody's city that they don't own. I don't want to hear anything about it. You all are about to let Takashi 69 be the number one rap artist in the world. You are going to let him be the face of rap music 
which is our music. No more check-ins, no more no-fly zones. I don't want to hear another word about the street code or the G code. My phone pass code is harder than you all street code. My question is, if Takashi 69 was black, would you all let him make it? I don't think so. Uh, I want to say thank you to, you know, the, the, the judge for, you know, allowing me to come home to my family to let me uh, celebrate a birthday out here with my family, you know, and I appreciate that as much as you guys want to pay me out to be a, I appreciate every little thing and I didn't do nothing wrong. Wait for it. Free Blanche. Get money. Come.